Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Chiron transiting the fourth house in a natal chart. Now, on average, Chiron will traverse a house for approximately four years. However, if your house size is a little bit larger than average, Chiron will be in there for a little bit of a longer duration. If your house size is a little bit smaller than average, then Chiron will be in there for a little bit of a shorter period. Well, anyway, people, the first thing I look at with Chiron transiting one's natal fourth house is that this could be some emotional and sometimes even physical wounds connected in the home and family life. It could be uh, perhaps there is some a situation that might be contentious with one or more family members. There could be a situation in some isolated cases where maybe you have to move, maybe frequently during this time, maybe because maybe even in some cases it could indicate something disastrous could happen and makes you leave such as some kind of flooding in, in some isolated cases anyway. The main the thing is, though, this transit can cause despondency in one's home life. It could be a period where you experience these emotional and, and sometimes perhaps even physical wounds, maybe an injury, a uh, strong injury takes place in the home. But it, what it shows, too, is that is Chiron can be the wounded heal is the wounded healer. And this could indicate that you could actually help others in matters connected with the fourth house where you are unable to help yourself and of course it's not just home and family it's also emotional security it's about our traditions our roots and the less dominant uh, parent which is generally the mother this could be a period where maybe you have trouble even with the maintenance and even keeping your home in, in satisfactory condition your home might even be disheveled to some degree or maybe in, in maybe the house itself is a little dilapidated in some cases but you might be that person that goes around and gives the advice to others as far as how to maintain their home and keep their home very clean very immaculate repair it maybe even help people repair things in their homes so this could be a, a time too where it might be you might experience one or more moves during this time as this could indicate uh, some emotional wounds during as far as the home life and family life goes maybe something happens you look at the fourth house too is connected with our roots our traditions it's connected with ancestry maybe you even go online or something and try to do some research on your roots and maybe you find something disturbing in connection with one or more family members that causes some kind of uh, distress or and causes you to, you to be exasperated or dejected or something it's something that might surprise you that really that may not set well with you in some cases now i had a prominent family member that has Chiron either in the fourth in her natal chart or conjunct the fourth house uh, from the third house uh, fourth conjunct the fourth house cusp from the third house I should say and was interesting is that she to say she had a lot of sorrow connected with her home and family life would probably be a vast understatement she has it in, in Le Chiron in Libra and she was all very she, I think one time she actually helped reconcile a situation in someone else's home one time there was a situation that appeared to be combative between two family members in another person's home and she basically acted as the mediator and was able to kind of intervene and find a peaceful solution to that situation but in, in many cases, I don't think she was always able to find that peaceful, amicable solution to her own family difficulties and in situations with family members that were contentious or disputatious. So I think it's very interesting. I had this transit in 1993, I remember, when, when Chiron transited, was transiting my natal fourth house. It was in Leo. 
And what happened was my uh, had a prominent family member that passed away of a heart attack. And it's interesting because Chiron in Leo, okay, it was in Leo at the time. And of course, Leo corresponds with the heart. And interestingly enough, that Chi transiting Chiron also made a conjunction to that person's natal son, which is connected with the vitality. That person had, has had a son in Leo. So I thought that was very interesting the way that had played out. And I obviously experienced some emotional wounds connected with him, uh, with him passing away. He passed away almost everything but in front of my very eyes, sadly. And that happened during a Chiron transit in the fourth. Now, this is a time, too, where you might experience some wounds connected uh, perhaps with your emotional security at this time and things that make you feel emotionally secure, you might be you might be exceptional at doing things uh, for others to help them in this particular area or aspect of their life. But you might have difficulty in yourself and in, in doing this. Now, the fourth house is also connected with the less dominant parent, which is generally the mother. It could be a time where maybe that person might be debilitating you might have to devote more time to this person than usual and this could impact your own home life of course so the key is when you have the chiron transit in whatever house it is of course to replicate for yourself what you're doing for others and that's really the way to handle it i think a lot of times when you have a chiron transit you're, you're so dominated by helping others in a certain area of your life. I think it kind of zaps your energy and it makes it difficult for you to help yourself in that particular area because you expended so much energy and time helping that uh, these other people are in that area of life and you have difficulty helping yourself in that same area. Well, anyway, people, it's also important to look at the aspects that are made from Chiron, transiting Chiron to your natal planets and points as this could impact the transit. Now let's say for example that transiting Chiron is making a conjunction to your natal Saturn. Well this may indicate you might experience some suffering connected with limitations, restrictions, and maybe even your some responsibilities. And being in the fourth house this might be tied in to your home and family life. Let's take another example. Let's say that transiting Chiron is making a sextile or trying to your natal Uranus. Well, this could be a time which could be very auspicious and positive for perhaps incorporating some kind of healing and helping um, with ingenuity. And being in the fourth house, this could be tied in to some home related matters. Well, anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Chiron transiting the fourth house in a natal chart and stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about Chiron transiting the fifth house in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.